This is Andre Battles, your friend and fellow sinner, saved by grace and clothed in Christ's righteousness with another episode of Toilet Paper Tuesday. What is Toilet Paper Tuesday? Well, toilet paper is a necessary item that one must use in order to wipe the nether region or the backside area with. Yet, as important as toilet paper may be in one's effort of cleanliness, we never really stop to consider just how important it is. Likewise, there are scriptures in God's word that carry greater or equal importance of the toilet paper, but much like the toilet paper, we'll wipe our conscience with these scriptures and then discard them. And for the scripture today, we're gonna to be looking at Genesis chapter one, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So check it out, dude. You and I were created to reign. Dominion means the ability or the privilege of being able to rule, to reign. God didn't create you to be a slave to nothing. He created this world so that the world would be subject to you and your desires. But where did things go wrong? Well, we know the rest of the story of creation. Adam and Eve decided they were gonna obey the voice of the devil who had never in his life done one thing for them. Many of us are obeying the voice of the devil who has never done any one positive thing for us. And because we are obeying his voice, he now gets to come in and take dominion from you because he took the dominion of this world from Adam and Eve once they sinned and followed his suggestion. So you're wondering why you're still struggling with pornography or you're still gossiping after all these years and you promise to stop. Why you have these feelings of prejudice and jealousy and pride towards others or why you're still drinking and smoking. I'm about to tell you. You have given the dominion of your conscience to the one who is the enemy of your soul with every indulgence of those behaviors. Now we are already born in sin and shaped in iniquity because of what Adam and Eve did which gave Satan the dominion. So you are born with problems, just accept that. However, we reinforce Satan's dominion over us when we commit the wrongs that he suggests repeatedly, we solidify his dominion over us by constantly repeating those things that we know are not good for us. And that's why we're struggling because you have exercised that demon so much that homeboy is super strong. Well, I don't want to leave you without hope. The dominion was given back to you and I through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross and said, it is finished, what he was saying to the Father and to all mankind is that the war that was raged over your life and over the power and the dominion which was given, that would be given back to you has now been won. And as a result of me, walking before my father in righteousness, I am offering you that same righteousness and the authority which I now have gained back from Lucifer, I'm giving it to you. Do you want your dominion back? The ability in which to live over the influence of what you're feeling. Go to Jesus, pray to Jesus. Talk to Jesus, cry out to Jesus, and he will give you that dominion back. This is Andre Battles, your friend and fellow sinner, 
saved by grace and clothed in right, Christ's righteousness with another episode of Toilet Paper Tuesday. If this message has been a blessing to you, then please hit the share button and be blessed.